Let's take a look on how to vertically and horizontally align some of our text in our table over here. The first thing I'd like to do is actually get my my caption and my footer to be both centered. Um, and that's pretty straightforward. So obviously this is a caption. So if I just select this here in Dreamweaver and click the new CSS property, um, I want it to be a compound. That's I probably need a less specific than that. Uh, center table caption sounds about right. And uh, very straightforward. Under block, the way to align this thing either to the left is the default. But if you want to align it to the right, just hit apply, and you know pushes it over. I think you could see this happening over here, right down here. Pushes over to the right, text align, and center center right in the middle and that's exactly what I want and now I want the same thing to happen down here for my for my T footer stuff so I guess I could just select this and then click the new rule and get less specific and less specific um, but I think what I'd rather do is just group that together with the uh, what the declaration I just created so I'm going to, uh, whoops, here we go. I'm going to add now that center table caption. I'll add a comma, and I'm just going to put down, uh, I guess I could use this center of the table. It's not like I'm going to have more of those elements. I just hate seeing all that code there. Whatever. Now, this is pretty specific. Um, there we go. So inside my, inside my center, inside table, inside T foot, inside a table row, the table data, make sure you center this stuff. And let's see. Um, okay. Did well that worked, but my caption didn't didn't seem to work. And let's see, caption worked here. So you see what I'm talking about is that it didn't actually change in Safari. Did I do something silly? Yes, I did. Look at this. I'm wondering why my attribute doesn't work, but if you look at this little asterisk over here next to my main.css, that's because I forgot to save it. So that's not going to change anything. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Now they're both aligned, top and bottom. Let's see if this is the case everywhere. All right, Internet Explorer. Good to go and Firefox good to go uh, alright now let's look at well that was pretty simple and obviously um, that text align will work on any element if I just add um, comma TD now that's gonna also target every single element every single uh, table data then everything's gonna change you see I probably wouldn't want to put it there but um, just as good see so that just happened by me putting putting a line for the table data for putting it all in there. That's pretty straightforward. And obviously, you know, if I if I didn't want and look, look what's actually not aligned over here. Notice how the table header isn't aligned? Well, why would it be, right? Because that's a different tag altogether. So, I mean, if I I could add over here once I put comma th, then that's going to target that as well. So, that's going to put them in the middle, right? So, so far, TH is going to target this, TD is going to target this. I mean, I, I could, um, you know, actually, let's jump right into vertical alignment then, too, since, since we're looking at it. Um, let me, for the sake of this, not get everything mixed together, and I'm going to copy this part and just delete this stuff out of here. Just just because um, I don't necessarily want my caption and my footer stuff to, uh, they're probably not going to share all the same values with my uh, TD and TH, so I'm just going to separate them to be careful. Um, plus, vertical alignment's not even going to affect those elements, or it may, I may not want it to. So, uh, okay, we'll leave that. Let me add, hang on, one last thing. Let me add at least this, this centered table so it just targets the stuff in the center table. Now I'm going to show you the vertical alignment which is pretty straightforward. Again, if you go through 
through Dreamweaver's property inspector, CSS property inspector, in block, there's there's vertical alignment, which doesn't work on all elements, but it certainly works on on TDs and THs since they're up there. And pretty simple. You have you have a lot of different things over here, but really the main ones are top, middle, and bottom. And by default, these things sit in the middle. So you know you could vertically align them on top, which pay attention right down here is gonna it's going to do nothing in Dreamweaver. Huh? I thought I figured it would, but okay. So now you, we just centered it up top, and yeah, I noticed that that moved too. We'll, we'll get back to that in a second. Um, oh, duh! I know why that moved. Silly me, because I didn't. I'm I'm thinking that that was an error, but yeah, it was user error on my part. Um, I basically I thought this would align everything would align in the center, but I just realized that I took that out. So that's the big change. There we go. Okay, so getting back on track. That's vertical align is putting them up, and then you know you have top and you have bottom, which is going to put them on the bottom. And of course, there's other ones. Uh, there's other values on this vertical line. Some like I think it's sub it's kinda like subscript it's almost like a little bit below the text I guess um, where the text would be like when I'm not you know what I'm not totally sure all those values just because I never actually use them but um, there certainly are a ton of them to use and I guess they all do they all do something I would suggest before you go use them you figure out exactly what each one of them are um, the only ones I've ever used have been um, top, middle, and bottom. And I can't recall, for some reason, I think the sub and super I've used as well, but I can't recall exactly what I've used them for. But um, if you if you stick to at least those other two, and I'll probably leave mine in the middle, you definitely have a lot of options for aligning these things from left to right, and it's and it's pretty consistent throughout all the browsers. Let's see. Yep. So that's it. That's all you need. Basically, you're looking at text align to vertically to horizontally align your elements and vertical align to vertically align them.